Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors. And off we go here at Soldier Field. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First play, here's Cousins. That's complete to Mooney. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Cousins. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And some space here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. It was just third down and short, but he bit off a little extra. <laughs> I would say way more than he could chew, but he chewed up all that yardage in a big way. And that, to me, that was a combination of offensive line, stacked defense, and they handled it. Okay, they got the leverage, they got the blocking angles, and opened up a nice crease. And once you get past that first wave, there's room to roam. Yeah, that's just the third play from scrimmage. They wanted to avoid that three and out. They did. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. First down, here's Cousins. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Nice tackle, nice play by Kevin Byard. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And he's got his man on the out round. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Play fake. Cousins. And that is caught. Touchdown. Falcons. Charlie Werner, a five-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are on the board first here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes the score 7-0.
And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he'll return this one all the way out of the other side of the field. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big-time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Swift going to try up the middle. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Williams. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Allen. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So eight yards on the completion there. And third and one now. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Off play action. Williams. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And this will be a long field goal if the skies were clear, but here in the rain and the elements, they'll go for it on fourth. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have the Bears first down, and he'll get it by plenty. A gain of eight on fourth and one. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the handoff, this is Swift. And room there to work it inside the 25. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw, Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet, and he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. Santos' kick is up and through, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense.
A quick throw out wide to Mooney. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, it turned into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard maybe up to the 41. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Now Cousins. And he's got the hook up to Moore. So the completion good for just three. And now third down and six to go. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And this is, and now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Bears. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at the 45. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Off the play fake, Williams, a little short pass. This is Everett. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Williams throw complete there to Moore. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro, yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Williams, a little short pass. This is Everett. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Back to throw again. He finds his target, Allen. And 
finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. The end result, 21 yards. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Here's Swift. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's a give to Herbert. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Keenan Allen from three yards out. And the Bears have taken the lead. And a play fake down near the goal line here worked out well. Anytime you can make them think that you're going to run the ball and go to that play action pass, you see the end result, usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 10 to 7. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Well, the Falcons back out getting set for this next drive. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember, last drive they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. They try and run on first down, but this one's going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Cousins to throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to look deep for more. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Two things you can do in that situation, run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. Here's Jones. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. 
Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the short touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll begin again here on first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Dances by him. And he's got this down to the 35. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. Williams. Throwing on first down. Well, there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and five. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Back to throw. Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Second and five. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here we go, here we go. Come on, let's go. Let's dominate this. All right. Here we go. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Williams. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. From 13 yards out. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Santos with the extra point, And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. First down throw for Cousins. Over the middle complete. That's more. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Yeah. 
A first and ten here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. Throwing his cousins. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Play action now, Cousins. Oh, and that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On oh, now to punt, here's Bradley Pinion. A fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Looking to throw. Williams. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Let's focus in on what we got to do here. Let's do our thing. Let's be smart. On third down, Herbert. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we re we're getting through the break at record pace and right back to football. Third quarter, here we go. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And he returns this to the 22. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. 
We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Here's third and seven. Back to throw. Williams, pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 76 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he's got this down to the 35. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just have to find a way to tackle someone. There he goes, left side. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. That was excellent from start to finish, from the blocking to the running, just well executed. And now let's look ahead, because after that, how about a little play action, maybe a little bootleg, and get the quarterback out on the corner and give him a little run-pass option. And they're right down here looking for six. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Swift will take it in. Touchdown, Bears. Well, he bit the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Santos now to add the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. To the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now.
Cousins on first down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now a throw here to his running back. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And you start to think if it's going to happen for these guys, it's got to start with this drive. Down three scores, they need to start making some inroads. And that'll help the cause there as they pick up good yardage and a first down. On first and 10, it's Robinson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 44 now, here's second and four. To throw, Cousins. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he'll be brought down at the 37. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing, Cousins. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. They're glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and 10. Back to the ground with Robinson. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Cousins. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard, and the Bears are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Okay, partner, no surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. The Omen's effort on that last drive. Seven carries, got the touchdown as well. And the O-line probably got a little extra oxygen on the sideline in between. And deservedly so, because they were also calling for him to continue to get the ball, because there's a rhythm that gets established, right? When you're running it well, and the, the back's getting the ball, and he's in sync and reading blocks, and the offensive line wants to continue to pound away. Haven't met an offensive line and yet that likes to pass block more than he likes to run block. And that last drive, we saw the, the end result, didn't we? Yep, and all were rewarded with a trip to pay dirt. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On the option to give to Swift here. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Second and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. 
But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. And he is caught and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They will run straight ahead with Swift. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. Yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 161 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Looking to throw. Williams got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. DeAndre Swift. He scored on the ground and through the air as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. To the touchdown. Here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. Not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. A second down throw for Cousins. 
locates Mooney on the out route. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run for it with Robinson. Shrugs him off. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes, a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. So nothing doing there, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they will get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Cousins now on second down. That's complete to Mooney. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Cousins now to throw on first down. That's out wide here for Robinson. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. From the 31, here's second and two. Cousins now. And this will be caught by Mooney. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game, and he's got a first down as well. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. First down, here's Cousins. He's got his pass catching tight end, that's Pitts. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and a yard. Now Cousins. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Let's go, once again. We gotta get it done as a... On first and ten, Cousins. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Here's Cousins. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. No 
Cousins to throw it. Touchdown! Jarnell Mooney from three yards out. And the Falcons get a bit closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. The Falcons are going to leave the offense out there. They'll go for two. Cousins will try and throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bears now ready to take over again. Well, CD, this is the ideal situation in the fourth quarter. You come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful. They've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. Ready. Solo. On first and 10, it's Swift. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 174 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Brendan, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.